So this is the fun, tedious part. I am just drenched in sweat right now, but it's totally worth it. Alright guys, as you know from our video yesterday, we're going to start on this side. We're going to put concrete countertops here, we're going to prime paint the cabinet and cabinet doors on both of these. We're going to put a whole new backsplash in here. We're going to work on this section first before we go to anything else. And so I think it's going to come out pretty cool. I think we got good colors, a good concept. Let's hope and pray it turns out good. So what I'm going to do first, I'm going to go in with this TSP. Uh, cleaning solution and I'm going to wipe down all the wood that way I can get any grease or anything like that off that way whenever we prime it we'll be good to go and then paint on top of that we should be good so we're gonna come in here and start cleaning from what the bottle said it said just you gotta put water in it and then rub it on there and just let it dry and it should get all the grease and everything off. All right, I wasn't gonna do this, but I'm thinking I might build new cabinet doors as I'm looking at these and stuff. They're not terrible, but I just don't know how well the paint's gonna stick to this. It may be all right, but I don't know if I just wanna go ahead and build my own doors. So I'm gonna go ahead and take them off and think about it while I do that. No more doors, we got rid of them. I just said, eh, don't wanna deal with it. Let's just make our own. I'm gonna make them real rustic, really cool. I'm gonna get some different hardware. The hardware on here, when I started taking it off, started to break all the hinges. And I need to go in and sand some of this down and fix it up. So I think it's gonna end up being even better than what it was before. As you could tell, there's marks like this where the hinges were. So I'm gonna get some sandpaper. Kind of smooth that out so whenever I prime it, you won't even be able to see it. So now we're going to come in and uh, tape off uh, the surroundings so we can go ahead and prime this sucker. Now that we got it taped all around, let's start priming. I don't know if you can tell, but it is hot in here. There's not much uh, breeze coming through. Open all the windows. I wish there was another window over here, but there's not. So I gotta go buy a box fan or something, or a you know oscillating fan, because this is hot. This is almost as bad as being outside, and at least the sun ain't beating you up. But we got it primed all right there. I need to prime underneath it. I'm not too worried about the inside, the shelves, and all that. That's really not a big deal to me. It's more of the outside that I'm trying to do. The inside, I just am not really worried about, to be completely honest. So I'm going to let this dry, and then I'm going to hit it again with another coat and get a real good coat on it before I put the actual paint on there. But I cannot wait to see what this paint looks like. So I totally lied. I said I'm not worried about the inside, and I started thinking, what did my parents instill in my brain from a child? It's better to whole ass it once than half ass it twice. So I just took it all out and I'm going to paint the whole inside and then we'll put some fabric stuff down in the bottom. Let's just do it right. Let's get it done. Remember, we're doing this for grainy, so it's worth the extra step. So 
So as you can tell, it's all primed up real good. I'm gonna drink some water. Jaylena came out and gave me some water. So I'm gonna take a quick break. This is supposed to dry for about an hour and then we can paint it. So I'm really excited to see what the green looks like. And then of course we're gonna have to build some doors, but that's not that big of a deal. So I'm probably gonna try to paint this green and get a good coat on it and then start framing out down here on the countertop for the concrete. Maybe if it's dry, do another coat of green and then pour the concrete and that's probably all I could do for today and we'll start back up tomorrow. So we've let this dry for a while. It's already getting dark outside. Like I said, we're gonna work tonight and then in the morning again before we go live and go to my parents and uh, smoke some animals. And so uh, let's turn this thing green. I don't know about you guys, but that looks a million times better than it did. So to say that I'm super pumped is an understatement. All right, so it's the next day. Same clothes, different day, but I'm still liking it. It dried up pretty good. It's not as shiny as it was yesterday. It's a good green. It's not over the top. It just gives it some color. So now I'm going to work on the countertop. I'm not gonna try to start on the bottom or anything yet. I'm not gonna mess with doors or anything up there. I'm just gonna work on the countertop and then that's probably all I can do because then we gotta head to my parents' house and uh, do some things for the live chat and we're gonna smoke a brisket, a nail guy brisket and a hog hindquarter. So I'm excited, but first let's knock this out. So the first thing we need to do is come in and prep this. There's some paint that drip down from here it's not a big deal we're gonna take that off because uh we don't want that on our countertop so come in clean that which is good so i got these uh cedar boards and i went ahead and sanded this top side down so it's nice and smooth and what we're going to do is we are going to turn this into the uh drip edge here so we could build or pour in our concrete and let it dry inside here on here and not have to do it anywhere else. And to make sure it's even everywhere, I'm gonna put the bottom of this board on the bottom of this so I can just put my hand under here and make sure it's flush. That way it's the same all the way around and uh, we'll be able to get a good pour, a good level, get a good level countertop in here. So let's go ahead and screw this on. Now that we have this framed off, I'm gonna go ahead and tape the inside of it. I'm gonna do the crease all the way around and up on this paneling and up on this wall. So when we pour the concrete, it won't get stuck to the wall. And I'm trying to create a good lip. So whenever I pour it, it has a good lip in here and doesn't get all this other stuff. So I'm trying to get on the counter and the wall. So I got the whole thing taped up all the way around. I got all on the counter and then up the sides all the way around. That way when I pour the concrete, it's got a nice good seal in here. I'm not worried about any marks that the tape's gonna leave on there or anything like that. I am just not worried about that at the moment. I could go back, I could fix that. I just need a good countertop area. So I mix up some concrete in this bucket just by hand. I don't have a mixer, I don't have wheelbarrow, nothing. So. We're gonna go ahead and dump this in and get the first little batch in here. Ain't no going back now. Any clumps I'm gonna try to break up. Try to just spread this out on the bottom as good as I can. I know it's gonna take multiple batches, and that's okay. The next batch I'll make, I'll make it slightly wetter. I wanted this to be a little thicker because I didn't know how it was gonna go. And I want to be able to kind of pack the edges as good as I can 
before a lot of it gets in there. Um, make sure it's holding in really well. I am not a concrete expert, so I'm sure some of you are gonna be like, oh, what are you doing? You're doing it wrong. As long as the end result comes out how I want, I'm good. And worst case scenario, I just rip all this out and start fresh. All right, let's go uh, mix up some more. All right, so that was one bag. I bought a few bags, so hopefully I have enough. I think I will. Let's go mix up some more. All right, the next batch, this one's a little wetter. I can do this without the bucket breaking. So it's getting there, but I think it needs a little bit more. All right, hopefully this is the last batch. Now I'm going to come in and try to just even it out the best I can. It's not going to be perfect, but then I'll do something else after that. Alright, so that's getting there. Now I gotta get all of it down to the bottom. Bottom, so I'm gonna go in with the hammer and just kinda knock it around. It'll knock the air bubbles out. This is what you want. That only does so much, so I got a trick. So what I'm gonna do is use this guy. It shakes a lot. A little palm sander works absolutely amazing. I can't get the blade off at the moment, so I don't care. I'm just gonna run it around and try to vibrate it all down to the bottom. So as you can tell, getting pretty smooth here there are a few pieces like this that rock sticking up but as you can tell like right here that's a bubble there's a bunch of little bubbles all over here I don't know if you could really tell there's little bubbles and stuff like right there right here it just popped see these bubbles right here all those will end up popping which is perfect it's what you want so this is the fun tedious part I am just drenched in sweat right now but it's totally worth it I'm going to keep doing this for a while and then I'm probably going to call it a day for this because the concrete needs to dry for a while and I don't want to be up there painting and getting paint on it and all that type of stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and just keep working on this and then uh, try to get the sweat off of me. All right, so just to recap for this video, we redid the cabinets up here and we started on the countertops down here. We're going to do the same thing that we did up here. I may have an idea for the doors. I'm not 100% sure. I may try to recycle the old doors before throwing them out and building new ones. My head constantly, as I work, it gives me new ideas and new ideas. That's the best thing about being ADD, but the absolute worst thing because I got no sleep last night. So I'm going to let this dry. So far, I'm very pleased with it. It's coming out very smooth. It's got a nice finish on the top of it which again, I'll show you later what we're gonna do with that, but it's coming out very, very well. I'm not worried about any of the uh, outside marks. Whenever it dries real good and I take it off, I think it's be perfectly fine. But for one day, I worked a little bit last night and a little bit this morning, so probably a total of like five hours or so, and I got a concrete countertop and new looking shelves up here. So, so far for this old camp house, 
I'm loving it. It's awesome. I'm having a lot of fun with this. And this is the stuff that I love to do. I've always wanted to try concrete countertops, and I'm getting to do it. I've wanted to redo a house, literally a whole house, and I'm getting to do it thanks to my family. So a lot of you ask, how come your family doesn't pitch in? You got no idea. My Uncle Vern, he's helping get a tractor out here and all that. He doesn't have to do that. He's helping me with that. He helped us get the Jeep that we use. He's helped us get a lot of stuff, corn for the um, hogs and all that. He's done a lot for us. And then my Uncle Vance, uh, the dentist, he is doing an unreal amount of work for Janlene and I. We're going back multiple times. He's doing all that. Guys, I don't have insurance. I haven't had dental work in 20 years at least because I haven't had insurance. I've never had a good enough job that supported me well enough to have good insurance. So he's helping me with that. He helped us get these snake boots. I mean, it's just, the, my family is doing stuff off camera that you guys have no idea. Of course, you know, my dad and mom are doing a lot. Um, Jared and Matt are doing what they can. So, guys, my family's helping more than I ever expected, ever thought. They're just, they. it makes me happy to know I'm a part of the Crocker family. So, before I jump off this video, I just want to give a couple of shout outs real quick. Good Simple Living and Homestead is doing a thing on their channel that I'm blown away. For all of October, they are donating their money to pediatric cancer patients, I'm pretty sure, and I think they're gonna buy either Christmas gifts or something like that, but they're donating their entire revenue for the month. So if you wanna go over to the channel and help support you know, some cancer patients and stuff like that, that's a great way to support. And then on our Crocker family group that we have, there's a channel called Mobile Homestead RV, and he posts all the time and he's super positive and stuff and so he posted a thing on there and a, a clip of another channel general vlog video and pretty much that guy gave us a shout out actually both channels gave us a shout out and said you know thank you so much for everything we do you know we help them through their day and stuff like that and they feel like family and it's crazy to think that there's people out there you guys watching that think of us as family you know everything about us I mean, you probably know more about us than we do, and you know little things that you pick up in the videos that we don't notice, and you want to get to know our puppies, my parents, my brothers, my uncles, my granny. So the fact that you guys are posting these videos and comments on our family page, you know, all of you guys, it means the world to me. It means the world to Jaylena. I watched the video the other night, and um, it really touched me, and you guys know that I battle some things some mental things letting people get the best of me and stuff like that but seeing stuff like that and the comments that you guys leave in the family page just mean the absolute world to me so you know from the bottom of my heart and i know jaylena as well and even my parents and jared and matt and stuff thank you so much for all y'all support without you guys i just don't know how we would do this i really don't um i've been trying to stay very very positive lately and it's really working and i'm doing great and i'm hoping working on this uh camp house will keep me there keep me motivated keep my mind busy and so i just want to thank all you guys before i jump off here you guys rule and without you the channel would not exist and also, we are going live tonight on my mom's channel. It's Melanie Crocker. We'll leave a link down in the description. We're going live at 7 o'clock Texas time, so Central Standard Time. So please come over and check out my mom's channel. She has a little over 1,000 subscribers, which is mind-blowing. It's crazy. Some of her videos are getting like 2,000 views. So you guys that are watching and not subscribing, hit that subscribe button. Create an account if you don't have one. My mom is the best. My dad's the best. They're just, I I'm shocked that they're on YouTube. I am absolutely shocked, but it's awesome because, you know, to you guys, it's, it's just another YouTube channel. To me, those are videos of my parents that I can watch until YouTube dies off because I don't know what's ever going to happen to my family. I get to watch Jared on YouTube. I get to watch my parents on YouTube. Matt's possibly thinking of starting a YouTube channel. And we're not doing this to take over YouTube. 
we're doing this. They're family vlogs, and it's something that we could watch and go back and watch. It's it's just family video, and it just happens that our family is now extended across the whole world, and that blows my mind. So, guys, if you don't mind, please go into my mom's channel. It's Melanie Crocker, and we're going to go live tonight at 7 o'clock. We would absolutely love to have you there with us and chat and ask my mom some crazy questions and my dad, and we will be barbecuing before that. We're going to vlog all that and throw it in tomorrow's video. So, guys, thank you so much much for everything you have no idea Ugh, it's awesome so thank you we boost as always for supplying the uh cell signal booster we had out here at the ranch we had zero service now we have 4g service and it's amazing so if you ever need anything like that go down in the description it could help you out so guys we will see you later on the live chat love you guys you have no idea